If you've been called for jury service, you are most likely a citizen of the United States, 18 or over, never convicted of a felony. We have a marvelous divergence in our 50 states. In fact, a Chief Justice long ago uh, referred to the states as laboratories, and our states are laboratories. Judge Judith Kay is the chief judge for the state of New York. In her state, jurors have to be able to hold a conversation in English. 41 states have that rule, but nine states plus Puerto Rico have no English requirement. No state allows minors to serve on juries, but if you live in Alabama or Nebraska, you have to be 19, 21 in Mississippi and Missouri. Potential jurors are usually taken from lists of registered voters, driver's licenses, and vehicle registrations, but some states also use gas and utility lists, and some even take volunteers. All states provide some measure of support for the disabled. We just had a deaf woman who uh, served as a juror and says it was one of the great experiences of her life. Some states allow convicted felons to serve if their rights have been restored. Most states have a website or a number to call to inquire about details. Other states specify certain crimes. In Virginia, people who have been convicted of treason cannot serve. In Mississippi, service is prohibited to those who have been convicted of an infamous crime, bootleggers, habitual drunkards, and common gamblers. There are at least three types of juries that the Constitution specifically mentions. Grand juries, which have 23 persons that operate by majority rule, and they decide whether a person should even have to stand trial. And then two types of trial juries, the criminal trial jury called the Pettit jury. P-E-T-I-T. -E 12 persons who decide guilty or not guilty, usually acts unanimously, and then a civil jury. It doesn't have to be 12 people. They can be um, as low as six people. Often operates by majority rule, and it decides not guilty or not guilty of a crime, but whether the defendant is liable or not liable to pay damages, typically, in a contract dispute. The federal government requires a grand jury to indict a defendant before going to trial. Many states do not. States also allow for different grace periods before calling on a citizen to serve again. Some states allow one to three years, in Wisconsin four years, New York up to six. Of course, any citizen who qualifies and would like to serve sooner is welcome to do so. The jury is how ordinary citizens participate in the enforcement of laws. So the idea that this is a government of the people, the idea that the people have the last word, that the people are the ultimate authority, that's very much at stake in every jury proceeding.